Johnny Tappy was a terrific fighter. I, I, I felt so bad about, you know, uh, the way his life turned out. You, you sort of, you could see it coming, you know. Uh, he always had problems with drugs, with alcohol, but uh, certainly one of the, the greatest nights I ever had in boxing was the night that uh, Johnny Tappy had beat up his, his arch rival, Danny Romero. The fighters and their fans have traveled to Las Vegas for this Albuquerque Turf War showdown to decide who is the best junior bantamweight in New Mexico, and by extension, the world. They wanted to do it in Albuquerque, but you know they, they knew they couldn't do it in Albuquerque because they were afraid to be riots from either the Tapia people or the Romero people, you know. And Johnny was great that night. I mean, I, I remember he would he would land a, that left hook of his. He would turn the left hook under and catch the, uh, Danny Romero under his under his right elbow. You know, he'd get him he'd get him to the body with the left hook. What an absolute beautiful performance by Johnny Tapia. He boxed, he moved, he doubled the shots. The hooks to the body. He kept Romero up balance. And I, I said that, oh, oh my God, this kid is, is sensational. Johnny Tapia was sensational that night. He, he was very, very well trained. He brought it all to the ring. You know, uh, his skills just came out uh, better than ever before. And it was a great night of boxing.